just like 80% of your Instagram feed, this piece was made from a Primaris Lieutenant. Let's go over it a little bit. So we started with the Lieutenant. And we didn't really do anything for the pose, for the legs. But what we did do is use it as the host for our complex cloth and folds tutorial, which is on YouTube. If you'd like to uh, check out the Patreon, there is a link to find it. So we did complex cloth, both forward and in the back. Take this off. There you go. And you can see the different folds and layers there. We added a purity seal to the pistol holster, as well as a pistol grip and a little filler of green stuff there, so it looks like his pistol is holstered. We did filigree along the edge of the legs in some areas to add a little bit of accent. Tutorial for that is also available. We added a aluminum purity seal so that it looks crunchy but still fluttery and it follows the motion of the cloth that was replacing the uh, purity seal that's normally there. And then the torso, we actually added a chest plate, which if you have seen previous posts on the Instagram, there are photos of that. We added a bulked up chest plate with a cross on the chest and some filigree to frame it. On the hands, we added some filigree as well, and on the pauldrons. This one is left blank so that the painter, the owner of this piece, can paint and have a, an open surface to... Uh, do so. This side, however, was built into a larger pauldron with a ridge, says Sigismund. A cross was added with some trim and some studs and some lining and some skulls just to frame that central, central detail. The elbows have a crest to give them a little bit more interest. You can see there is a ridge follows the elbow. This arm was actually cut here and left as a pin and then rebuilt so that I could get the correct pose. Around this arm are some purity seals that have been wrapped around kind of like boxers tape. And then there is some jewelry chain that was added to this forearm and to the weapon. Now this was not to cover the joint. Um, even though you can use it for that, it was actually just a uh, pre-planned detail. The joints actually actually came out very clean, so that was not the purpose of it. But uh, they do look they do look good nonetheless. And if you were to do a project like this and you screwed up a joint, then you could always cover it with a detail like that. The head has the uh, knightly helm modification done to it. Also a video for that. That one actually might be free and available on the YouTube channel if you want to check it out. The head is left detached so that it can be painted separately, and then the painter will uh, attach it when he's ready. The sword was the hardest part. This pin here, a paper clip, the same diameter as my Dremel bit, as my drill bit, was uh, drilled through both the hands. And then the palm and the hand itself was rebuilt. Let's see if I can get you... Uh, there you go. Oh. There you go. Uh, almost. Anyways, the palm was uh, rebuilt and re-sculpted. A little bit of filigree on the backs of the hands. All right. And then, lastly, uh, the backpack had a uh, scroll for a name or whatever the painter wants to add across there. Some parchment molded onto the backpack. Some burning candles. One of them has been extinguished and the other two are still burning and then a skull. Fairly simple, but kept simple on purpose. This, this, uh, the purpose of this miniature was to be a uh, detail filled, but not overly cluttered. I wanted it to be more, uh, elegant than, uh, than cluttered. And so I didn't add, uh, any extra shields. Um, the parchment was, um, a little bit more sparing. I also added just some simple trim over the over the feet and ankles. So there you go. That is the latest Emperor's Champion. This one was uh, already purchased. This was a personal project 
which then went up for sale and was purchased. So as you can see here, this sword, this sword blade is from Conversion World out of Germany. Um, the blade was cut off, a pin was, uh, a hole was drilled through this piece of plastic card that I shaped myself and into the guard um, to make it a little bit longer. The, the quillon that come with this, the guard that come with this piece are a little bit too short. I wanted something longer. So he's gripping the pommel and right underneath the, right underneath the guard. Hope you like it. There are some progress photos inset. If you want to learn to build, build like this and sculpt, most of, uh, of these processes are available on the Patreon and, uh, more will be available. I post every, uh, I try to post twice a month. Also, there's some gems there that hold up the, the, uh, apron. There you go. Thanks guys.